Hi everyone, and welcome to our next video. We are taking a look at a problem involving Thevenin's theorem using two voltage sources. We're gonna go through the steps for this, and then we're gonna go through this example here. We are, uh, in this example, have two voltage sources. Vs1 is 20 volts, Vs2 is 10 volts, R1 is two ohms, R2 is eight ohms, and the load resistor is four ohms. So in our first step, we are going to remove the load resistor. And then once we do that, you'll see that we have a series circuit with only one current flowing. Once we have this, it makes it much easier to work with and understand. So here is our schematic with the load removed. Again, Vs1 is 20 volts, R1 is 2 ohms, R2 is 8 ohms, and Vs2 is 10 volts. So, notice here that the voltage source on the left is larger than the one on the right. That will push current in the clockwise direction as shown. That will be important when it comes to solving the problem. So make sure we understand the current flow. That's going to mean that as we move from the 20 volt source, it's going to be labeled as positive going from left to right in the two resistors. And then we're going to label the voltage sources as we typically would with positive and negative. We want to find the Thevenin voltage. And really, that's just the voltage at that node, node A. So that's our goal, to find the voltage at node A. That is our Thevenin voltage. We're going to use KV KVL to do that. And KVL states that the sum of the voltages in this circuit should equal zero. And if we go around in the clockwise direction, noting the signs, it'll be plus V1, plus V2, plus Vs2, minus Vs1. Be careful with the last one. Then if we substitute in those values, we're gonna see that V1 is really I times R1. There is only one current. Then V2 is I R2. Then we'll sub in the values for Vs2. Vs2, as we can see, is 10 volts. And subtract Vs1, that means we're going to subtract 10 volts. So then we are going to plug in some values here. We know that R1 is 2 ohms, and we know that R2 is 8 ohms and simplify the integers on the right. Plus 10 minus 20 gives you a negative 10 or minus 10. I'm gonna solve for i in this case here. And you're gonna see that 2i plus 8i gives you 10i. Divide both sides by 10. And we get the current, which is equal to one amp. So we've got one amp of current flowing clockwise in this circuit. So we can label that on our diagram like so. So next thing, we can find what the voltage is at node A. All we do is if we start on the left, we're gonna take Vs1 and subtract the drop across R1. So that's 20 volts. Subtract the drop across V1, which is one amp moving through two ohms. So that's gonna be a voltage drop of two volts. So that's gonna give me VA. So that node voltage there is gonna be 18 volts. And that is our Thevenin voltage. So the Thevenin voltage in this example is 18 volts.
Next step, we want to open the current sources and short the voltage sources. So if we do that, we're going to short VS1, we're going to short VS2. And then we just have this circuit here. So we've got our 2 ohm resistor R1, we got our 8 ohm resistor R2, and we've opened up the load resistor. So really, the Thevenin resistance is, if you could look out from that load position where it was, you would say, well, the Thevenin resistance is the load it sees from that point, which is really just 2 ohms in parallel with 8 ohms. That gives us a Thevenin resistance of 1.6 ohms. So there, we now have the Thevenin voltage, and now we have the Thevenin resistance. So we can draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit. So let's do that in step five. So the Thevenin equivalent will look like this here. Remember, it's just one voltage source in series with one resistor. So the Thevenin voltage we calculated to be 18 volts. And we calculated the Thevenin resistance to be 1.6 ohms. Step six, last step, we're going to insert the load resistor back into the circuit. So we can redraw our circuit with the load inserted, and it will look like this here. So Thevenin voltage is 18 volts. The Thevenin resistance is 1.6 ohms. And the load resistor, if you go back to the original part of the question, was 4 ohms. So we can find the load current. We just have a simple series circuit now. So we're going to take 18 volts and divide it by total resistance in this series circuit. That's just 5.6 ohms. And we get a current of 3.21 amps. Finally, we're going to find the load voltage. So we just need the load current and the load resistor. We can plug that in, 3.21 amps. multiplied by 4 ohms. So we get a load voltage of 12.86 volts. So there, we found the load current. We found the load voltage, which was our goal, using a Thevenin equivalent circuit. And that's it. So we have to follow those six steps in order to get the load current and to get the load voltage. Keep practicing these examples here. The more you practice,